I'm Jordan Vi, apprentice distiller at Stillwater Spirits, and this is my day. This is our 500 gallon fractioning still built for us by Vendome Copper and Brass Works in Louisville, Kentucky. It has a 500 gallon distillation pot, seven rectifying plates in our column, a precondenser at the top, which helps facilitate more reflux. The stainless steel arm coming off the top to the left is the spirit arm where vapors travel across down to our condenser here. Condenser has a reverse flow of cold water which recondenses the vapors and deposits them here in our spirit vault. This is our 550 gallon holding tank, one of two. We've got this charged with uh, 300 gallons of wash right now which I'm now going to move into the still. All right, now that we have our still charged, we're going to start the steam to the steam jacket. Our pot's reached 150 degrees, so we're going to prepare the condenser for the cooling water by opening the essential valves which feed the water into it and the relief valves which uh, route the water into the drain system. Okay, this hose comes off the back of the condenser. This is uh, going to carry the main part of our distillate over into our collection container. I'm going to use this to collect the four shots and the heads, which are the early fractions during the distillation. They're mainly composed of acetone, methanol, and ethyl acetate. They don't add a very desirable note to the finished blend, so we're going to separate them. Our temperature's up to about 170 now. We're going to start getting some of the uh, lower boiling point fractions traveling over. I'm going to shut down the steam and allow as much of that to collect at the top of the column head as I can so I can flush it over as efficiently as possible. When our pot temperature reaches about 194 degrees, that's when we really start uh, pushing vapors to the top of the column. We'll check our temperature here. We'll check our temperature at the head and we'll soon see it spike. When, we, when a temperature at the head, which is the vapor temperature uh, entering the spirit tube, reaches about 134, we know we've got the first fractions up there at the top of the still starting to travel over into the condenser. These are our heads traveling over. For, the first, for this particular distillation, we're going to collect about a gallon to a gallon and a half of heads. Best way to uh, make your heads cut is uh, using your nose. Uh, the four shots being mostly acetone and methanol uh, are a fairly small fraction. The heads, however, have a lot of ethanol. It's just contaminated with enough ethyl acetate and methanol to make it undesirable to the final, final blend. Uh, we're getting pretty close here, and the only way to do this is to just stay on top of it and keep checking it, and your nose will let you know when it's cleaned itself up. I'm going to switch over to our main collection tank now. We've got a nice steady flow right here. Our temperature in the pot is stabilized at around 200 degrees. Our head temperature is staying stable at about 178. And we're going to make the main part of our collection now. This is what we call the hearts run. Now that we've got our still balanced out, the column equalized, our condenser water running at the proper flow rate, it's mainly just a wait. We've got about five hours to collect the main portion of the ethanol. And in the meantime, we'll work on other projects, do some light cleaning, and uh, generally try to keep ourselves from dying of boredom. Well, for the last five hours, we've been doing our hearts collection, and our temperature is up to about 210 degrees, which is just about the point where we're going to cut this off. Our vapor temperature at the head is up around 200, meaning we're well into the tail fractions of uh, of our, our base material. We're collecting mostly fusel oils, but with a little bit of ethanol left. We're going to check our proof just to make sure that we've gotten as much as we can out. Looks like we're down to about 22 proof, so we have about 11% alcohol in there. At this point, we're expending more energy than we're getting back out of, out of distillate in this. And it looks like we're all done for the day. So I'm going to shut the still off down here by cutting the seam. Pretty safe to open up our compartment now. When you open the manways on these, you always want to let it relieve any pressure that might have built up in there. It looks like we have 
about 150 to 200 gallons of stillage left in there, which is what we were looking for, and that's mostly water and uh, heavy components from the original beer. So we're down to a trickle here now, so I'm gonna go ahead and shut the condenser water off. And that's the end of the process. Thank you for coming along and learning a little bit about whiskey.